What is up guys, Joe here and welcome! Recently the Structure Deck OCG poll came to a close and it's going to be the talk of today's video. Anyway, let's get started. I was wondering what kind of support Konami has prepared for the top 3 archetypes from the poll. In order to make somewhat of an educated guess regarding this topic, I'll briefly go over the primary playstyles for each of the top 3 and give my opinion on what should change. Ok, let's go. So let's take a look at the playstyle of Ice Barriers. They are mostly focused on a stun play, with most of their effects mimicking various floodgates. Those effects require the player to control more than one Ice Barrier monster on the field. The deck's greatest weakness is its ability to swarm the field or at least produce two monsters. That's why I think Pendulums, with scales of 1 and 8, will be introduced in the structure deck. The stun aspect of the deck could also be boosted with the addition of new Ice Barrier soldiers or the little guys, with the effects mimicking newer floodgates, like there can be only one, rivalry of warlords, etc. Those cards alone would cover the deck's greatest weaknesses, outdated stun effects and swarm ability. The silver medal of the pole is Cyber Style, a combination of Cyber Dragon and Cyber Dark Archetypes. The playstyle of both themes is OTK and Beatdown. However, the means to get to those end goals are different. For Cyber Dragons, it's all about gaining advantage with fusion summons and overwhelming the opponents with multiple attacks from high power monsters. On the other hand, Cyber Darks are focused on equipping monsters from the owner's graveyard to themselves in order to gain power which can result in a rather overwhelmingly high attack monsters. I might name drop a few cards now, cards which I think are most likely to be released. And those are... Cyber Dragon Synth. Similar to Tsvai, Dry and Fia, this would count as an additional Cyber Dragon for fusion summons. Next are Cyber Darkness Keel, Cyber Darkness Edge and Cyber Darkness Horn. Those would be the retrains of the original Cyber Dark monsters, a declaration of rebirth or rebirth judgment if you will, since this card was one of the cornerstones of Zane's underworld deck in the GX anime. And last but not least, a new Cyber Dragon Fusion monster. Not sure what the effect of this should be, not stopping me from expecting one though. I know I mostly focused on the Cyber Dark aspects of this theme, however Cyber Dragons already got their own structure deck, so it's time for Cyber Darks to get some structure deck love. And that will be it. That's what I think Konami is going to do in regards to the structure decks. Anyway, what do you think is going to happen? Leave your opinions in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!